Welcome to my gradient value scale video. Enjoy. Hello, I'm going to go over how to create a gradient scale. So when you're working with value, you're working with the lightness or darkness of a surface. And so learning how to do gra gradients is a really important key to being um, successful at creating um, form and all sorts of different things. So I'm going to do a couple of these. So what I'm going to do to start off is I'm going to take my HB pencil. I'm going to feather touch this and I'm just going to go back and forth about eight to ten times. Now I'm going to switch over to my 2B pencil. Probably about a fingertip or two. I'm going to overlap that. And then every time that I come back, now I went over that about four or five times, I'm going to come back just a little bit less. Okay. Now I'm going to take my 3B pencil. I'm going to get myself maybe about a fingertip, overlap that, those, that mark making, over that about four times. And then on the way back, now start coming back a little bit less each time. The key to building a value is to let the pencil do the work. I'm going to switch over to a 4B pencil. I'm going to come back a little bit further. When you do a um, nice blended gradient value. Now a, a gradient value is where you do a gradual change of values. So a regular value scale you're just working at um, identifying flat values and so forth. Okay, So this is a lot different. So now I'm going to work with my 5B. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way from the end of the scale. And notice how I'm holding my pencil. I'm holding it sideways. Um, I'm honestly just, again, letting the pencil do the work. Um, and then 6B. This is going to give me my dark, darkest value. Okay, so that's looking pretty good right there. So there's a couple other things things that we could do. Now, one of the things that we could do is use, um, um, let's say, like my 2B pencil as a blender, because it's a little bit harder than all my other pencils. So a couple of things to keep in mind, that if you see an H on a pencil, that means hard graphite, and you're going to get a lot lighter values. If you see um, B on a pencil, the bigger the number, the B, the harder the graphite will be. So once I work and I have it pretty close, a lot, of, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll do this burnishing technique where I'll just go back in and I'll try to make sure that I get rid of any sort of line so it looks like just a uh, smooth transition of values. And so uh, the whole goal is to have that full range of values where they just kind of smear and blend into each other. All right, so now above that, what I'm going to do is try it with a regular pencil, but I just want to show you a couple other tricks. Now, never, never, never use your finger to blend because all the oils of your hands will get into the, uh, the paper and then you won't be able to erase. So you know, gradually change your values. Now, something to consider, I'm just using toilet paper, you can use paper towel. Don't overly do that as well. So once you have this done, do not go back in. So that's a big no-no. So just get put that off to the side. And I barely, barely, barely touched that. One of the things though that you'll notice is after you smear, you'll lose some of your dark values, so you might have to go back in. 
All right, let's see what we could do. Let's see what we could do with just a, a regular pencil. With a regular pencil, I'm going to um, go down this whole line. I'm going to kind of come back a little bit. Now, with your regular pencil, it's a lot harder graphite, so you're eventually going to have to um, press a little bit harder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working backwards. I'm going to use this this uh, burnishing technique. See if I can match that uh, gradient from above. Now that I have some graphite down, I could just start using the side of my pencil to kind of get that pressure and so forth. All right, so again, what you don't want to do is you don't want to press hard. You, you don't want to hold your pencil straight up and down and so forth. So there's actually, I made two different uh, gradient scales. Uh, I did one with um, a pencil set, and then I just did one with a regular everyday pencil. Okay, so hopefully I get you paid attention to some of my pointers. Again, holding it sideways. Maybe this technique, polishing, do not touch with your fingers. Um, and then as you use like a paper towel, you only go from light to dark and get rid of it. Because if you go from dark, that's a big no-no. That's a big no-no going that way. So, all right, well, good luck creating this uh, uh, gradient scale. It'll really help you with uh, creating realism and doing all sorts of things with shading. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you learned something. Please pay attention to future videos. Make something great, give it away, put a smile on somebody's face, and be a good person. Have a great day.